Here's a video of this Kobe alarm clock radio. I guess you could consider this an initial checkout because I've actually never plugged this in before this video. Yeah, that was the same thing with the Timex. This is a pretty top of the line machine, I think. This is, I don't know, this would be 2010s, I'm guessing. It has an auxiliary port, which we're going to have to test some way, somehow. You know, 12 o'clock, nice big green display. Low dim, high dim, which is not dim at all. Radio tuner across the bottom, which you can barely see the dial. It better light up, I don't know. Um, we have our snooze, aux, am, fm. We have our time, hour and minute. We'll do our time first. We'll do hour to one. And so to oh five. For alarm, we're going to set it to, all the way to buzzer. We have, where's our alarm set button? It's probably on here. Alarm set. Uh, radio off, so it's a double purpose button. Where do I turn on radio though? Hmm. Sleep radio on. Oh, it's this button here. So I think we turn this on. That's a hold down thing. One. Let's wait for this thing to go into alarm. It actually has stereo speakers, believe it or not. Actually, I do. I actually did plug this in and test out the radio on it. But I think that was about a week ago, so I don't know. I got this. this I got this the same day I got this dream machine. Which I should probably make a video of next. The alarm on this is nice and annoying. Not volume adjustable. Is that a bit of radio noise that I heard when I hit that? Oh dear. So this is radio on. Let's turn this over. Oh, that's full volume. Tuning knob on this is, feels very cheesy, as I remember. This may have stereo speakers, but the sound quality on this resembles the Big Mouth Billy Bass. So I'm guessing the... I'm guessing the antenna on this does not work. I mean, not the antenna, the... oh dear. I can't remember, I don't even know what I was gonna say. A little light here, or maybe there's no light. It's currently 10:29. I've been awake since five o'clock this morning. Radio stations are tuning in somewhat okay. This is what it, what I never typically expect with a radio. This, I think this thing here came off. It takes a lot of force to turn the knob. I'm pretty sure over years of being used, the knob's just not the best condition anymore. It just feels very finicky and very cheap, which I don't really like. The volume no knob seems to be a lot better condition for AM. Kind of not surprised that I didn't pick up any AM. Let's, uh, let's get something to plug into our auxiliary. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to aux. We have our auxiliary cable right here. And on the back of the machine, actually, let's check our battery. No battery in it. I'm not sure there's a battery in it or not. Here's a better look at our flimsy little antenna. Then our aux in is right here. Plugs in actually quite nicely. We're using our classic recording of the Douglas fir tape from 1996. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas! 
Christmas. I'm Douglas Fur, your personal guide to holiday celebration. You know, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Everyone is cheerful and I... Compared to the radio, the aux recording actually sounds quite okay. Um, this speaker I notice is a bit dead, but... I think it's just because I think this particular recording is a bit more heavy on the left. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I have to reference the actual cassette tape, but it seems to work pretty good. This is pretty much just aux capability. I'm not looking for epic sound quality. I'm not expecting a full, fully fledged awesome clock radio. Did I even go over to model number? Well, let's have a look. Um, let's open this. Are to the wallpaper because it's time to deck the hall. Let's have a look at what our model number is. This is a Kobe model CR A108. Pretty basic model number, which I actually like. I could probably remember that. But yeah, here's this video. This nice basic clock radio.